send this to your parents? Fidgets, fidgets, please buy me fidgets, small and big, any type of fidgets. Rating my stress balls. This is my stretchy dough ball. I've used them for years in the classroom and they're some of my favorites. I've had this one a long time so you can see the signs of wear and tear. But you can wash them with soap and water. And when you do get a hole, the inside is amazing. It's like a cloud dough, so you can still play with the inside. I love DNA squish balls. There's just something so satisfying about seeing these little balls pop out. The outside does get cloudy after playing with it in your hands, but just rinse it off with water and it's good to go. I am so, so, so excited about these color changing stress balls. I just added them to my shop a few days ago and I think you're going to love them. They literally change color when you squeeze them. Which one's your favorite? Obviously the majority of these squishies are like really cute, but what is this? Why is there a random shrimp or a lobster? I don't really know what it is. This one scares me. And a carton of milk? Next up, I'm going to be putting this in here. I'm going to be putting this blue piece in here and this other blue piece in here. Next, I'm going to put this pink piece in here and this other pink piece in here and this yellow piece in here. This orange piece over here, this yellow piece in here, this red piece over here, this green piece over here, this purple piece in here. Wait, how am I going to do this? Um, how is this going to fit in here? It's the last piece. Come back for part three. I have three different shapes of poppers, circle, square, and octagon. This is the size of a circle compared to my hand. The circle is definitely the most commonly purchased. Next up is the square. This is the biggest size. It's also the second most commonly purchased. This is the most unique one. As a math teacher, I love the octagon. You can do so many fun patterns when you're popping the bubbles. Fidget toys are an extremely beneficial tool and I highly recommend them. But when we are in a classroom setting, we want to be careful that we're not distracting those around us. I recommend the acupressure ring. It's so small, no one will even notice it. Also, if it breaks, no big deal. It turns into another type of fidget toy. I love squishing the mesh and marble like this. You can use it with one hand or two. It's so quiet and they last forever. Bean pods are cute and they're keychains. These flippy chains are super durable. I've never heard of one breaking. They also come in two sizes. Bicycle chains are similar and also a good choice. I only recommend stress balls that are not completely round and don't have messy insides. So these are called wacky tracks. They come like this where they're just in a little circle. You can make tons of shapes with them and they're super fun because you can customize them and make any different color combination as well. These two examples are ones that my students did during class. So this one is just half and half. And this one's like a pattern where it's three orange and then three yellow, three orange, three yellow. So if you got multiple different types, you could make your own customized color combinations. Wacky tracks are pretty much indestructible. But yes, you're absolutely right that they can be used to make really big strands. Let's pack an order for Sophie. First up is one of the super popular poppers. She got a teal one, a big flippy chain, a DNA stress ball, a color changing stress ball, and one of my favorites, a snapper. I thought I was out of all these stuffed animals, but I found a new bag, so I gave her a dinosaur. It was a tight fit, but I got it all in. It was so hard to hold all three bags, but I walked it out to the mailbox. My neighbor was mowing the grass. Please, please, please double check your address before you confirm your order. Pack a surprise order with me. Of course, I had to include a last one last popper, a bicycle chain. A small flippy chain. They're one of my favorites. K 
can't go wrong with a zippy bracelet. An acupressure ring. For the color combination of wacky tracks, I went with blue and orange. Can't forget our iconic little bean pod. A big flippy chain. A little snicky snick. And of course, a monkey noodle. Next, my all-star lineup of balls include the color changing ball, the DNA ball, and the dough ball. I love these snappers. As you all know, Mesh and Marble are my number one classroom recommendation, so of course I had to give her a ton. Take a guess on which TikTok teacher this surprise package is being mailed to. Restock my drawers with me. First, I take the drawer out and walk into my dining room. Well, it used to be my dining room. Now I use the benches as a step stool to get through the boxes that are piled really high. I refill the container and then I get off the bench and take it back into the office. As a disclaimer, my dining room did not used to look like that. It's only been in the three weeks since we started this business, but now it's literally covered in boxes. But that's okay because I love fidget toys. So then I fill up the DNA squish balls. Look how cute they are. Bring that back into the office. Some of the items come in bags though, instead of just loose in a box. And with those items, I'll just get the bags from the dining room and bring them into the office. It's easier that way. The last drawer to fill is my snake drawer. All my cute little snicky snacks in a big box. Then I'm all done and I can pack packages quickly. understand because I've bought a lot of stress balls before and they usually pop like very easily. Make sure you save the filling though. Go to Dollar Tree and get like a pack of balloons for a dollar and I believe some Dollar Trees sell stress balls and then get a funnel. You can also make a funnel by just cutting off like the top of a water bottle and put it in the balloon and tie it. Trust me this helps you save a lot of money when you don't want to be constantly buying new stress balls. And if the balloon pops, you can just put it in the new balloon. I'm sorry, this has to be addressed. How, how did this become this, become this, become this? Huh? Hey guys, I bet you I could pop all these five poppets before you can like, follow, and share. And you better, better not pause the video because that's 100% cheating and it's not. Anyways, three, two, one, go.
you win? This is my fidget. This is my followers fidget. And this, well, this is my... Oh my god! This is my fidget. This is my followers fidget. And this, well, this is my... Oh my god! I bet I can pop all of these before you can like, follow, and share starting in three, two, one.